Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferret episode on GTA 5 with an AI car having a vendetta against player. I don't know how it, how or why it managed to lose control uh, over there, but uh, the player would have been fine if the AI car hadn't just decided to suddenly swerve off the road and crash directly into it, although amazingly the AI somehow survives the hail of gunfire that uh, that went its way. Uh, John is up next, also on GTA 5. Now, I have played a lot of this game over the years. I have seen many, many clips on this game over the years as well. I have never seen someone managing to get their quad bike stuck here. Yeah, not the cleverest. Not not the cleverest of, 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 of things uh, right there. It, it, it was it was well balanced briefly and then managed to I guess a boopy gun could probably get it out but still not what you want to do we're on to the long drive next with some problems yep too much speed going down a hill and a small rock is going to lead to some very very big spinny and bouncy problems uh, that is well kind of the end well, I say the end of the Volkswagen picker the big problem they're gonna have is trying to find all the wheels that have got lost in that it was a tremendous accident um yeah that was a, that was a lot of speed a uh, lot of speed indeed uh, we move on to bully uh, next driving around with a go-kart uh, when physics has decided to take a break uh, bumps into a traffic car proceeds to kind of rock for want of a better word spin around a little bit and then eventually i i guess find its find its balance an odd one an odd one indeed that uh, Travis is next on Wreckfest. Now, they are driving around, you know, doing a race, minding, minding their own business, as you do, in the top half of the of the field. As they head up towards the first corner, they just misjudge it, bounce off the little infield, or sort of the outside um, mounds of dirt, and manage to get absolutely murdered by all of the AI cars. We stick with Wreckfest. Now, a bus race is generally pretty crazy. We've seen plenty of, of them over the time when I streamed Wreckfest, we've seen plenty of them. However, here the AI have taken it one step further. Now, I'm not completely sure if this is at the end of the race or if this is uh, still with the race still going on, but what I am sure of is the AI have actually managed to completely block up turn one. Now, this is a, it's a notoriously narrow and twisty circuit at the best of times, but they just continue to pile into it and get more and more stuck as uh, as, as the event goes much more and more keep piling in. I mean, th there's clearly a lot of them are wrecked, a lot of them are on fire, and they've managed to completely completely jam the entire track up. There is no way you are going to be able to get past that. Uh, Verax the Wolf up next on Gran Turismo 7. They are doing some off-road racing. Uh, when they get things a little bit wrong, they don't quite turn in soon enough, clip the back end on the wall, which unfortunately for them spins them into the pit lane. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. I mean, it's not... It's not the worst thing that could have happened, but uh, definitely not going to help with lap time. That one having to take a trip through the through the pit lane. Now, guys, have ever heard of this game? Uh, ASQ Rob on Parking Tycoon Business Simulator. There's a simulator for everything. However, there is a very fail racy moment. They are just walking around minding their own business, and we have a car hat. Yep, we have a Scirocco on a Scirocco essentially here. Now, I'm I'm no expert, but that's definitely definitely not how things are supposed to be going and it gets worse because as they continue around a little bit later on they come back to find not one but two this one much better much more neatly aligned right now uh with uh with with the well, i don't know i guess audi on top of something uh, apparently cars can drive through you in this one but uh, i'm gonna presume that the, the game just didn't sort of recognize there was already a car spawn in that spot so it spawned another one either under it or on top of it either way though it is very funny indeed. Uh, Gravity is up next on a set of Corsa. Now they are racing around the the Nurburgring with a with a Lamborghini and a very difficult corner. Dip a wheel on the grass, go for a big spin, and amazingly gather it all back up in time. I mean, there wasn't much room to to spare there. This corner is tough. This braking zone is very very easy. 
to make mistakes on. So they did a re an absolutely remarkable job of managing to... A remarkable job of managing to, and a whole lot of luck went into it. As, yeah, the rear wheels just dip on the grass. They managed to spin it round and get it back under control to carry on. Could have and probably should have gone an awful lot worse there. Up next, we have Laura on iRacing. Now... They are at the start of a, the very start of a race going for a rolling start. So we've got some, some indie cars around the Charlotte Oval. Okay, it's an interesting, interesting challenge, uh, so to speak. Keep an eye on the vehicles up ahead, because as they are, you know, heading around on this, as warm out this pace lap or whatever, one of the cars on the inside spins, and I think the car we're riding on board with doesn't realise until it's far too late. It's just not something you are looking out for. You're not looking out for the very low speed spinning of a vehicle. I presume in the wrong gear or just booted a bit too much when I walked the tyres and that's all it took. Uh, Jack Hammer MC on iRacing as well is doing an unusual combination. We've got the street stocks around Sakuba. Now, as you can see at turn one, you probably have a bit of an idea where this is going. Uh, the setup the vehicle definitely not suited to this circuit. And sure enough, as they head into the next corner, it is a full on will it roll moment. Honestly, impressive. At that point, as the car then eventually comes to rest on the barriers. Managing to get a vehicle to roll like that just through normal, normal cornering is actually quite good. I didn't realise you could really do that on iRacing. I'm highly impressed. And finally, we have Tenacious Tesseract up next on NASCAR Legends. I'm actually quite sure what circuit. I thought it was Sonoma uh, for a little bit, but I'm not completely sure if it is. Um, either way, they are heading towards the next corner when they get a bump from behind and then a huge amount of speed occurs for one of the AI cars, naturally creating an absolute ruckus, shall we say. I will say, this is, you know, this is clearly a very old a very old game. AI did a surprisingly good job actually avoiding the big crash, um, a lot of cars bailing across the grass. And so this is what happens, I mean, there's some mistakes uh, going further up. The 30 taps the back and just as it hits the back, as it hits the railing, sorry, after the initial light contact, it's just twanged across the track for reasons I don't quite fully understand. Everything kind of gets itself a little bit reset, and it's it's a mess down here. Um, but uh, yeah, sudden acceleration into a tight corner could always, could always cause some danger. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this uh, for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form in the description. Uh, we will we always do need uh, more clips uh, for this for this series to be continuing. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.